Silver to present the 2023 in-season tournament Most Valuable Player Award. Thank you, and the last trophy, the MVP Cup for outstanding play throughout the entire tournament to a man who, frankly, there's nothing else to win in this league. The only thing I can say, I'm sorry, but it doesn't come with a franchise. LeBron James, the MVP. LeBron, it has been clear from the start of this tournament by both your words and your play that you were putting your full effort into this, and that set the standard for the rest of the league. Why did you decide to put all of this into something new? Because uh, my youngest over here, uh, my rookies, my second year guys, um, some of them haven't experienced playoff basketball. Uh, some of their paychecks are not as equipped as some of the older guys on our team. So, and then some of our fans, during the December and January months, they start, they kind of stall out a little bit. So I felt like it's my obligation and it's my responsibility to keep everybody engaged, including my teammates, including our fans for our beautiful sport. So that's why I was locked in from day one. You certainly did that. I want to talk a little bit about your teammate, Anthony Davis, another dominant performance from him. Oh, absolutely. I mean, oh, that was a Shaq-like dominant uh, performance. And we had the big fella sitting down there by our, by our bench. So I think 80 was expired. 40-20, um, multiple blocks, multiple steals. Um, you know, AD was just, he was dominant, big time. He was dominant big time. LeBron, you, you said this week that Father Time has been undefeated thus far, and you're working to try to hand him that first loss. What yeah. is winning the first ever in-season tournament MVP due to his record? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's even about the, uh, the MVP. Um, I think it's about us coming together and winning this thing. Uh, this is the inauguration of the in-season tournament. It's something like records will be broken, uh, you know, but one thing that will never be broken is to be the first to do something. And we're the first champions of the end season tournament and nobody can ever top that. And it's great to be able to do it with such a historical franchise. And it's even better to do it with such a great, great cast of uh, just funny, engaged, competitive uh, men over here. And they, uh, the first question they asked me when I came off, they was like, so when do we get our money? I was like, I don't know. But I kind of do know, but I'm not going to tell them just yet. Lastly, LeBron, before I let you go, you said dominant for Anthony Davis, but this has been a dominant performance for your entire team going 7-0 and in this in-season tournament. What does that tell you about what this team is capable of? Um, I think we're, we're just holding each other accountable. Um, the best thing right now is that we're starting to get healthy. Um, we, we have a lot of length, and we have a lot of defenders. We have a lot of guys that play unselfish basketball, and we have a lot of competitors who want to compete every single night. So... Um, you know, it's just big time performance by our whole team to get everybody back. We're still missing one of our top guys and Gabe Vincent, and we can't wait till he get back as well. But everybody has chipped in, and uh, we wouldn't have been able to do it without everybody that stepped on the floor and everybody that didn't even play because they had us going um, as well on the bench. So it's an all around team effort. LeBron, thank you and congratulations. I appreciate you, Malika. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. For the in-season tournament MVP, LeBron James, and the 2023 in-season tournament champions, the Los Angeles Lakers.